इसमें क्या है Okay. Sweet. Glad the sound works at least. I just look like I'm really focused and that I code with one hand, I guess, and the other one's just on my chin. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is right now when there's a draw in the game, it just says it's a draw, and it doesn't explain if it's a stalemate or insufficient material or what. So I'm going to try to make it a little clearer. And to do that, I'm going to have to oops, let's make a new type of endgame. So we have this zero-sum game outcome, which is like a super generic way of expressing a win or loss or a tie in a zero-sum game. Um, but we need a chess game outcome. And it's going to extend that. So I can't move and they're not in check. Player can't move and they're not in check. They win. No, they um. So yeah, if a player can't move and they're not in check, it becomes a draw. It's like a stalemate. The player's turn it is to move is not in check, but has no legal moves. And then those, yeah, it gets recorded as a, a draw. So right now, there's this pop-up that says it's a draw, and um, that is confusing to a lot of people, um, especially if they didn't play that way when they were kids or whatever. Um, so zero sum game out outcome has a, a win or loss or a tie. So there's a lot of stuff in the engine in general that depends on this and uses the, the tie. So now we're going to figure a way to get extra info in there. So there's a chess game outcome. It's just going to be a zero sum. Okay. Public in extra draw info. So what that'll do is there doesn't have to be draw info. But if there is, it could be a stalemate. Um, insufficient material, uh, draw by agreement. Um, and yes, I got a Wikipedia for like, all the rules. <laughs> Stalemate, I have threefold repetition. There's a lot of draws, man. <laughs> I think there's seven game outcomes. Um, there's win, loss, stalemate, draw by agreement, threefold repetition, insufficient material, and then um, forfeit. Stalemate, threefold. Oh my god, 50 move rule, too. 50 move. I spell insufficient material. Right. Check it. Yeah, I spelled it right. Okay. It's hard to sort 
with these two because there's not really a logical ordering. Um, stalemate, threefold. Okay, so I'm going to start using this. Explicitly say that this uh, draw and third equals null. So until we now it's a uh, draw. Okay. And then <clears throat> all the the draws are actually determined inside of this check is game over function. So I'll have to start using message from Jeff about the game. Okay, graphics card stuff. Okay, so we're gonna start instead of zero sum game outcome, we're gonna do chess game outcomes. Oh dear. Okay, so fifty move rule let's prompts the person so it is threefold. So we'll just go through these top down. Checkmate isn't a draw, so you don't need extra draw info. Stalemate is a draw. Outcome dot draw. Make outcome a chess game outcome. Cool. So outcome dot draw info is. That one was a stalemate. And then since threefold repetition is a choice, if outcome make it to null. Should not return it. We could do it there too. Oh, dear. Okay, so now we need anytime we allow a draw, we need to do Let them pass in the draw type because we use this for lots any draw type where you have a choice like uh, three fold repetition or fifty moves. Okay. This is in chess also. So let me see if I can factor this too. Rename chess game. Since we're allowing a draw, we're going to require draw info, and then it'll be chess. Okay, count that. Oh, never mind. It's already draw type. All right. Cool. Um, the AI, that's, uh, I mean, if we write our own AI, it goes through and automatically does it instead of, uh, like, makes a choice and always chooses the draw for now. Um, get back to the controller, where the logic is. Oh, I'm already. So now, we pass in the draw type. And then 
if somehow we come out of that and outcome is not null already. Which is only going to happen in the case of like the AI, because it immediately makes its choice. And here it's threefold. So we have stalemate, threefold, 50 move are handled. And insufficient materials handled. What else was there? So there's four there in agreement we don't have yet. We can't actually draw the agreement. Working on that later. Stalemate threefold. Stalemate threefold insufficient. Cool. Alright, so it's ready to go. Oh cool, the camera came back. I don't know what caused that. Alright, draw conditions. So now that the game knows what type of draw ended it, presumably we don't use that info. That info. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm just going to find out where I actually add the text to the game over overlay. And then I need, to, I need a test case. It's almost a stalemate. find that in our forums. So, damn. I get comments so fast, I spend like 10 hours a day answering them. <laughs> So, so I'm going to search, I don't want to search topic. Here's an example of a stalemate that someone had. Okay. You can your own games on Steam. Yeah, <laughs> you can. Um, I only did that once. I did it for Hive. Like, um, in App Store and stuff, you pretty much have to review your own game. Like, it's really important. And on Steam, I don't know, people said it wasn't helpful. <laughs> so, I mean, I said in the review that it was me. Um, you know, and that therefore I'd be biased, so... Uh, I don't think I reviewed any of my other games after that, because I didn't like that one. Didn't find it very helpful. Empty the board. I have too many tabs open. <laughs> Undoubtedly. Okay, so I want to make this game. 
he had just moved his rook. So I can put that pretty much anywhere. I think these will both show up on the screen at once because they're above where my Visual Studio window is, but we'll see. Kings right around e7. Right. Oops. Let's put the rook here. Because I have to move him to get to that, to put it in the uh, stalemate state. And rook will be here, and king will be there. It's white's turn, nobody can castle. No one can on passant. Half move will just say that. A pawn had just moved, so zero on the half move, and it's like move 42 of the game or something. Um, Alright. Defend format and paste it in. Here. It's a draw. It's oh, sweet. There is a get outcome string on zero sum game outcome. So I won't need to do anything too tricky. To do is override that in chess game outcome, and if it's a draw, so if we have draw info, we'll actually do statement for them. I guess it's alphabetizing them. I might as well alphabetize them. So that's how it's going to do it when I autocomplete. unlikely that there will be another case that I don't know. Something like that happens, then that's a pretty serious error. See that in someone's log if it ever shows up, and I'll just slap a breakpoint on there <laughs> so that I'll notice it. Alrighty. Um, so, this weird format here that I'm doing, this is how the internationalization works. So Alrighty. So I think this is probably gonna work. 
um, this is, it's kind of nice actually that this was confusing people because <laughs> I wanted to I wanted to add this uh, more specific game over stuff anyway and now this gives me an excuse to do it sooner than later I mean I guess it's bad though that they're getting confused it's, I don't want people confused All right. So for 50 move rule, about how it's going to be the spacing on this. Um, so the 50 move rule is tracked in the half move clock. And I mean, I guess it's technically 50 half moves. Each side. Wow. Yeah, so the half move counter has to be a hundred. I don't know if I even implemented that right. Half move clock, yep. Whoops. Greater than or equal to a hundred. Player completing his turn followed by his opponent completing his turn. Yeah. Um, so if I go into the and test file and I'll put the half move clock at like 99. I can probably test that one too. People are going to have a hard time uh, swallowing insufficient material draws, but I guess they'll have to Google it. Alright. Stalemate. I hope that's explanatory, at least to the point where if it's not, you can look in the rules. <laughs> um,
position which repeated three times. Okay, time to start testing these. What just happened? Oh. It's just upside down. I thought I would have done it. Whatever. So, move there. Try that with the move rules. No pawns, mirrored, or pieces captured. Game is not progressing. That is just crazy small tech. I'm not entirely sure why. Right. Center in this corners. And it allows scaling. that width is should we do that at some point Bigger and wider. Yeah, I was calling a draw by uh, the reason it was prompting me is because of that fifty move rule thing. Oh dear. That's a bug too. It's technically possible this could happen in a real game where someone has a stalemate and then they get prompted about ins or, uh, 50 move rule instead. Yeah, they should only be getting override if the outcome is null. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't have that in there. All right. So you shouldn't even get prompted for that if if I move it to stalemate. Move stalemate. Okay. Getting some somewhere. And now if I don't move into stalemate, like it goes somewhere over here, so the king has moves. Keep playing. Mm -hmm. I still keep playing. Draw, draw with 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, I should test draw by three fold repetition. Two. Sorry, testing is a little boring sometimes to watch, probably. Um, so we need to advance a pawn to get that what I oh, am. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so I need to actually get out of the way to give the king some moves. Keep playing. Keep playing. And then I'll advance a pawn. So now that, that move counter should go away. Um, so it's going to try a three-fold repetition. Okay, so there, 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 there. That's one. Oh, go away, pop up. Okay, it's a draw, same board. Position was repeated three times. Man, that's small, ugly text there. Okay. Oh, I can't edit it because the game is running. <laughs> This is all going to center too. We're about to redo our text to be uh, signed distance field instead of this, you know, normal sprite fonts, which are just um, you make a bitmap and then you cram the pixels onto the screen and scale it like an image, which is hideous. So soon it's going to be more like vectors. Okay, make that so get prompted, and then one. Repeated three times. Okay, that one's good. Good to go. And then 250 moves, threefold repetition, and now we got to test insufficient material. that by just feeding everything to the king. Oh man, we're going to have to get all the way over there. Then, this doesn't matter who gets there first. Okay, okay, so draw by insufficient material. Hopefully people will be willing to figure out what that means. End game. Stalemate checkmate. Wait, stalemate. Not in check and I know my skin. If I meant to check this is stalemate. Just type a draw. More end games. Whoops, and my text is wrong. <laughs> I said twenty-five each. Should be fifty each. There. Add that to the um, This is done. 
the less. Cool. So not not released, but it's fixed. And I need to commit it. Commit that yet. Testing. Okay, and the top one here was making timeouts sticky. It's old, but yeah. Timeout sticky. Preference. Castle twice in the same game. That's not good. Big change is made the uh, game over overlay show more specific text for various types of draw. I fixed a couple, three bugs. So, probably gonna call it a day for the stream and go have some dinner or something. But thanks for tuning in. I'll see if I can save this. I don't know how that works, but uh, we'll try it out. Thanks, y'all. <laughs>